So I'm going to show you a painting. That painting over there is called Reverend. This painting right here. It's considered a watercolor. It's considered a watercolor. And how many of you ever worked in watercolor? I think all my life I've had this passion to be an artist. Robert Bearden, Charles White, Jacob Lawrence, Chagall, Matisse, Bruegel. They inspired me. You see that eye? Yeah. You see those, that mouth? Yeah. You follow this line. You see the tail of the great fish? Oh. Yeah! You guys are so I love the myths, Northeast Africa, Egypt, and the myth of the dog and its loyalty to it, the protector of the woman. In Mexico, the southern part of Mexico, blue snake, that snake, when it goes into a field, it will yield a great harvest. The chicken that you may see in my work, that's a Benin myth. God sent the chicken, the rooster, down to flatten earth. They always panic. Let's look at, let's look at, let's look at this big piece back here. I find it uh, a joy to go to my studio with all the motifs, all my encounter with various cultures. They're in my brain. They're in my soul. And so when I go to the studio, they just start to come out early on any painting that I would create that was a complete drawing, a complete color set. The marriage of realism and abstraction came about because I knew I could paint realistically. I enjoyed it. But I wanted it to be set free, to allow it to just come out naturally and make works that are just controlled by my own inner being. You got the freedom and you got the power to, to fly. A way of designing and complexity, creating marks, shapes, distortions. Because in any creation of any art, there has to be composition. There has to be order. There has to be balance. It's always what I call a problem solving event. Art is a critical part of my life that I cannot divorce. What inspires me now is to continue to share what I do with the world, with my first, my first retrospective at the age of 72, and now is allowing me to share my work with children. What inspires me is that it's not over. It is the beginning of a new era.